What is going on guys, it is WrestleAmia here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including a former AEW producer sentenced in domestic violence case, WWE censors Vince McMahon in 2K24, Paul Heyman controls the bloodline, AEW suspends Sammy Guevara, a new Hall of Famer announced, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania Shorts. And now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at a former AEW producer sentenced in domestic violence case. A former AEW producer BJ Whitmer has been sentenced in the domestic violence case filed against him following his 4th June 2023 arrest. As noted by Wrestling News, Whitmer was charged with first degree strangulation and second degree burglary following an incident he had involving his ex-girlfriend with a bond set for him at $25,000. According to BJ Bethel, former AEW producer Ring of Honor wrestler BJ Whitmer received 5 years probation and 128 day home incarceration in connection with the strangulation and criminal trespass charge he faced involving his ex-girlfriend last summer. Whitmer took an Alford plea, which means he maintains his innocence, but he acknowledges there's enough evidence he could face a possible conviction in a jury trial. He can have the felony expunged from his record in five years. They also reported on why Whitmer was given the plea. The prosecution on why the Alpha plea was offered to Whitmer, during the pendency of this case, the Commonwealth was provided with a significant amount of reciprocal discovery. Due to this discovery and other events, the Commonwealth was required to reevaluate its position. AEW fired Whitmer after the story broke, but what do you think of the case and what do you guys think of the result? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, John Cena invites AEW star to WWE. There's some interesting comments from John Cena concerning AEW's Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Cena recently chatted with Chris Van Vliet about meeting MJF at the premiere of the Von Erich biopic Iron Claw and the conversation they had. He couldn't have been nicer, he couldn't have been more cordial, and we met each other and I got pulled away to take some pictures. Then we were about to go and do everything else before I even got to you. And was like, hold on, give me two minutes. I shook his hand, I said, man, I'm so sorry. Excuse my ignorance. I don't know what to expect from you today. Are you a class act? I can't believe you're a professional as you are. That's just my ignorance. I'm sorry I had that judgment and I want to thank you for being so special. Thanks for making my night. But that was just the start though, as Cena added, then we got back and I was able to talk to him more. And I kind of said, maybe we can get you to play for the right team one day. All that. There's no denying the fact that he's doing good work, and I don't think I should ignore that. Honestly, I was floored by his professionalism. Where it would have been an easy target at a wrestling movie premiere to have yourself a moment. We did have a moment, and it was one that the internet paid attention to. Now, MJF could have gone into business for himself, but he didn't, which obviously impressed Cena very much. It's worth noting that Cena was one of MJF's heroes when he was growing up. Do you think MJF will ever work in WWE? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Paul Heyman's big reveal. Paul Heyman is revealing just how much influence he has with the WWE's handling of the bloodline. Roman Reigns' tribal council recently spoke with the New York Post explaining, I carry a significant voice in how we are portrayed and presented. That includes everything from camera angles to music to storylines. Heyman explained the origin of his nickname, The Wise Man. It's why Roman Reigns bestowed upon me the blessing the name of the wise man, which is both acknowledgement from the tribal chief to his special counsel, and also a historical reference to the Grand Wizard, Freddie Blassie and Captain Lou Albano, who are the only managers during the Vincent James McMahon, father of Vince McMahon era. Longtime fans will remember that three heel managers were nicknamed the three wise men during the heyday of the WWF. Heyman told the New York Post he's not sure he'd be happy just serving as Roman's mouthpiece. I don't know if I could only be a performer. I wouldn't be satisfied. I wouldn't be happy with just going out there and doing our shtick. I have to have a voice. I have to have some level of input and so far, as luck would have it, that input has not only been welcomed but encouraged and very well received. Many fans credit Paul Heyman with helping Roman Reigns break out of the slump he'd been in for years as fans tired of his babyface push. Heyman's creative genius is well established as his booking in ECW made the promotion a critical success and many of its successful elements were emulated by the WWF and WCW. Next up, WWE censors Vince McMahon in 2K24. Now Vince McMahon is persona non grata in WWE and it seems like they're doing everything in their power to erase or censor Vince McMahon in anything that they promote. In WWE's 40 years of WrestleMania showcase mode, they even found a way to blur Vince McMahon in pivotal moments. In one such showcase, where the women's triple threat headlined WrestleMania 35, when McMahon announced that Charlotte Flair would be the third participant in the match, his face is completely blurred, even though we know exactly who it is. Even the narrator doesn't mention Vince by name. 
Is this going too far? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Drew Destroy Seth. Now add Drew the Digital Destroyer to McIntyre's nicknames including the Scottish Warrior and DM Hunk. While Drew no longer carries his sword with him to the ring, he recently eviscerated Rollins on X. Things got started when the Visionary posted this about Drew's Raw promo where he blasted Rollins for being a glory junkie and not focusing on being World Heavyweight Champion. Bitch, I've been fighting with my soul for the last two years to make sure jackoffs like you even have a world title to compete for at Mania. Drew fired back tweeting, Bitch, where was this energy last night? McIntyre has been a thorn in the side of not only Rollins, but many of Raw's top babyfaces including Cody Rhodes, Jey Uso and Sami Zayn. More than a few fans believe Drew's momentum is going to help him capture the World Heavyweight title when he battles Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Next up, when is WWE returning to Saudi Arabia? When will the WWE return to Saudi Arabia? Well, according to PW Insider, the next PLE in Saudi Arabia will occur in late May. If this is accurate, this means the WWE will run two PLEs in May as a company already has 4th May earmarked for WWE Backlash France. No word on what's next for Saudi PLE, but expect to see a star-studded show as the Saudi Sports Authority likes the WWE to book their shows like WrestleMania's. Last year's show was Night of Champions, while the year before was Elimination Chamber. But what do you guys think that this year's show will be? Will it be an existing PLE, a throwback show, or something new? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, William Regal returns to NXT. A Tuesday was a big night for NXT as it held Roadblock, a special edition of WWE's black and gold brand. The show featured some big bouts as well as a surprise appearance from William Regal. Regal made his first appearance in front of a live crowd since he left the promotion for AEW. While Regal did appear recently, it was in a backstage segment. His lordship came out and spoke with his son Charles Dempsey. Dempsey is a current holder of the NXT Heritage Cup Championship, telling Dempsey he hopes the title will be defended with the dignity and honor it deserves. Inside the Ropes reported on what took place during the exchange. Showing no respect for the former general manager, Dempsey responded that he would defend it better than Regal ever could. Regal stated he would be watching closely as the segment drew to a close. This seemed to open the door for more appearances by Regal. Although recent reports suggested that Regal wasn't going to appear often in NXT, his appearance and interaction with his son suggests otherwise. Would you guys like to see more of Regal on NXT? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE Superstar calls out Bobby Lashley for WrestleMania rematch. Could the WWE Universe see a rematch from WrestleMania 38 at this year's showcase of the Immortals? WWE Superstar almost wants it to happen. The Nigerian giant appeared on the Battleground podcast and discussed Mania. Yeah, I think obviously the one coming up is a big Super Bowl at WWE, so hopefully I get to have a match at WrestleMania. That is always my goal every year to be on that card. As for an opponent, the big man said he wants a rematch with Bobby Lashley, who he lost to at WrestleMania 38. The WWE likes to use Omos for special occasions like Mania, but with Lashley and the Street Profits currently battling Karrion Cross in the Final Testament, a match against Omos seems unlikely. Next up, AEW suspends Sammy Guevara. AEW has suspended Sammy Guevara in connection with the match he worked against Jeff Hardy where wrestling's charismatic enigma was injured. Fightful Select reports Guevara is being suspended for not following AEW's concussion protocol. During the match, Jeff Hardy sustained an injury and concussion protocol was not followed, which resulted in Sammy Guevara hitting his finisher on Hardy, which we were told shouldn't have happened. Ringside News pointed out an interesting fact about Guevara's situation, saying, While specifics regarding the duration of Guevara's suspension and additional details have not been disclosed, it's noteworthy that he subsequently participated in a no DQ match against Powerhouse Hobbs following the encounter with Hardy. Does this mean AEW will still investigate the situation before it decides to suspend Guevara? If not, why was he allowed to work a match if the company claims he disgruntled its policy? Some fans are raising questions about the suspension, asking how Guevara could have known about Hardy's concussion before executing his finishing move. The timeline of what happened in the match and when AEW ruled Guevara disregarded its concussion policy is murky right now and hopefully AEW will release more info to the public and more importantly, its wrestlers. And finally, a new Hall of Famer announced. Last but not least, congrats to the latest inductee into the 2024 class of WWE Hall of Fame. ESPN is reporting that Japanese legend Bull Nakano will join Paul Heyman in this year's class. Nakano was a top star in All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling and also found success in CMLL and the WWF, holding women's titles in all three promotions. ESPN reported on Nakano's reaction saying, During my active years, I was able to get championship belts in Japan, America and Mexico, Nakano told ESPN through an interpreter. But just one thing was missing, I didn't get inducted into the Hall of Fame. I wanted this. Finally in 2024 in WrestleMania week, I'm able to get this. Congratulations to Bull Nakano on this well-deserved honor. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.